So the steps for graphing using a table of values is first of all to create a table with columns labeled x, y, x and y and fill in the x values with any values you wish. Now we have to thirdly determine the y values by subbing in the appropriate x value and into the equation and solving. Transfers uh, values from step three which is the, from the subbing in into your table of values. So we'll go through an example and if we look at this, here's our table of values. Here's the X and Y column. And these are the X values that we're going to use in this particular example. For X values, always use numbers that are easy to graph. And also, the numbers should be ordered from lowest to highest. Now, in this example, we're going to graph the line uh, Y equals 3X using a table of values. Now, first step, create a table with columns X and Y, and then we're going to fill in the values. So, here, and it goes back to what the last lesson on um, input and output, we're going to consider X as our input, and our output, or Y, this is Y is our output, depends on the value of the input. So, our output is going to be three times our input in this case. So we're going to determine the y values by subbing in the appropriate x value into the equation and solving. So we've got y equals 3x, and our first value is going to be negative 2. So our y value will be 3 times the input, which is negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And so we place that into our table of values next to the negative 2. Next, we're going to use as our input negative 1. So 3 times our input is going to be 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. And so we place that into our table of values. Next, we're going to put in 3 times our input of 0. 3 times, or 0 times anything is 0. So we're going to place into our table of values zero. And lastly, or we're going to put in next three times one. Our input here is one. So we're going to put that into our table of values. And when our input is one, three times our input is three. And our last example, uh, if our input is two, then three times two is six. Now, we start looking at the pattern here in the table and you'll notice that as we go up for each value of x there's a pattern within our table that every time x increases by 1 the y or the output increases by 3 and you should start to see a pattern here with the equation as well. So now the last step is to plot points in your table of values on the Cartesian coordinate plane. Now our first point is A and we're going to call that that's going to be negative 2, negative 6 and we're going to plot that on the graph. And you don't need the letter in there, it's just for a point of reference. And so our next point is going to be negative 1, negative 3 and so we're going to go to negative 1. Each of these little lines on the x-axis represents point 0.5 increment so here is negative 1 and we're going to go down to negative 3 and plot the point. Next point is 0 0 so we'll plot the point at the origin. Next is 1 3 and we'll plot that and lastly 2 6 and that gets plotted there. And so now what we do is draw a line through all the points and extend it and draw arrows at the end of the lines and lastly you label the line with the function and in this case it's y equals 3x